Hey guys, Dustin here with the Dustin LeBlue CEO podcast, and it's that time of the week where we're going to bring you our weekly espresso. Yeah, guys. So this is Austin here, uh, as usual or as per usual, and uh, this is going to be your shot of as positive. Per use. As, as per use, as blah, 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 blah. I just word saladed the whole beginning of that. But anyway, guys, <laughs> this is going to be your uh, shot of positivity for the weekend, uh, or in this case, kind of trying to give you that positive pump up. And it's going to be for a very good reason, actually. So, Dustin, you 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 know what? You and I have both kind of been, uh, you know, long weekend. That's well, you know, just add it. You've been. I've been on vacation, so I can't really complain too much. But, you know, I didn't sleep one night, and then didn't really sleep last night. But that's okay. But first, make sure if you enjoy the podcast, go review it on iTunes, mm-hmm. like it, share it, all that good stuff. Share us on social media. We don't make any money from doing this. We're just out here to help. Have a good time. Spread some positive, some positive love. Exactly. Get the get the positive vibes going for the community. But this uh, this episode is going to be uh, about lack of sleep um, or deprivation of sleep, lock of, lock lock of energy, lack of energy, and the fact that you know what you still have to push through it. And you know what, there, there's positive vibes in it. Yeah. So I mean. If you own a business, you're probably used to this. You know, you're not you're not gonna have great sleep all the time. If you're you know? a dad. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're a dad, right? So you really I I've seen a lot of people do this. They'll like get so obsessed with oh, I got two hours of sleep last night. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this today. And it's really more mental than it is uh a really physical. I mean, yeah. that that part. So like how how am I gonna make up the sleep? Look, I'm just gonna tell you right now, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Go forward with your day. Have yeah. a good day. Have a productive day. You'll find that if you just don't think about it, you'll be fine. Yeah. And man, that is the God's honest truth because you know what? I'm uh my, my son's year and a half year year and a half old. I want to say year. Well, you're old, talking year, like you year. had no sleep. I'm out of it today, man. <laughs> I need caffeine. You're over here with caffeine. I'm over here yeah. with water. But uh yeah, my son's about a year and a half old. Um and you know what? He uh, he likes to wake up in the middle of the night um, and like punch and kick me for no reason. Uh, you know what? Love the little critter. But the point is, the whole time that uh, he's been in my life, I've told myself I am going to catch up on the sleep that I have lost in these first couple of years. And until recently, I believed that. <laughs> and the realization sat in that I'm not going to gain sleep for like the next 18 years until he moves out of my house. <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's the fact that, you know what? I don't let it ruin my day anymore. I don't, you know, what? even if I don't get sleep, I still come to work. Uh, and I, I try to keep a positive mindset. I got to know that, Hey, just because I didn't sleep that well last night doesn't mean I can't come in and kick ass at work today. Yeah. Or anything, you yeah. know, if it's a weekend, you might have it, whatever. It doesn't even really matter. And does, and this is kind of like not just sleep. Like if you had a bad day the day before, yeah. like you got to push that behind you and move forward because we all have bad hours. God, don't carry it. Uh, don't carry it. It's it's hard not to carry, but you got to remember not to carry that. And this is something. Hey, we're not saying we're saints because like I have some bad days, but I've you know I'm really trying to focus on keeping that positive mentality. Even though I may not have got a lot of sleep last night, even though I got mad and kicked a brick like an idiot. I didn't do that, but I'm just saying, like, what if I did, you know? No, uh, <laughs> I feel like dude, when I got, you know, what was it? Uh, see, we're sitting at Wednesday, you know, recording this for a release up on Friday. But yeah. uh, it was over over the weekend. It was Saturday. And I don't know, some, you know, I just, I just got upset about something. I think it was, the, you know, again, you know, nice lack 50, of sleep. 50-50 call, by the way. It was the weekend. It was Saturday. Yeah, 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 thank you. And <laughs> <laughs> woke up that morning. It was super early. Uh, and I was just like, I was angry because it was early. I didn't get to sleep in. And I was like, you know what? I'm so angry. I'm going to go weed eat my yard. <laughs> what? Yeah. It was such a dad move. Yeah, I was like, what? God, I feel like such an old man right now. Yeah. I was outside just you know, angrily weed eating. Yeah. You, you know what you were talking about? You kicked a brick or whatever. I was like, you I weed eated. I, I weed eated. <laughs> no, I didn't even kick a brick, but I'll make sure of that next. So, so guys, listen. <laughs> <laughs> if you have lack of sleep, go weed eat, apparently. Or was, if you're mad, go weed eat. It was therapeutic. Tear that grass up, son. Man. <laughs> <laughs> tear, tear that grass up. Man, it was therapeutic. But uh, you should but make yeah. a shirt like that. Tear that grass up. It just sounds good. Dude, if there is yeah. not a shirt with that on there, anyway, that's oh, okay. copyrighted. Yeah, we just uh, yeah, it's gonna be copyrighted by the time <laughs> you guys hear this. Um, but it's the point of you know what you you may have you know the lack of energy and uh, the lack of sleep, but don't you know what don't uh, don't let it affect you, and especially don't take it out on those around you. You know, I know it's extremely hard. I for one am not like you know like Dustin said, I'm not a saint when it comes to this. I. I kind of struggle with letting out 
uh, negative emotion when I'm in that certain area of like lack of sleep or energy. Um, and I've tried to get better about it recently. Uh, and I try not to let it affect my, you know, like even home life or, uh, my coworkers life, like when I'm around other people and you know, what? It, for the positive, it's been better. My, yeah. my general attitude in my workflow has been better. Well, nobody wants to be around a, uh, negative lack of sleep person. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, just, just do, do your thing, bring that positive energy to people. Cause like we said before, who you're around really can affect you. So you don't want to be that person that walks into a room and just has this terrible negative vibe, you know, like what you, you, you know, like what I'm saying, like whenever somebody really positive walks into a room, it just changes the atmosphere because we work off of our own energy. You know, oh, you just feel yeah, good. You're yeah, like, yeah. Oh man, this guy's walking in. I feel great. Or you'll have this other guy walk in who's always negative and you're like, Oh God, you kind of hide. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You so, try to shut yourself, shut, shut your shelf, uh, <laughs> shut yourself out from that. Pr- I'm going to, man, I'm telling you what, but uh, yeah, You're you come in to, speaking like a different language next week. Yeah, okay. was, uh, yeah, exactly. But uh, you try to push yourself away from those people. You know, like you shell up from them because you're like, ah, oh, negativity, don't want it. Yeah. But the positive people, you know what? For example, I'll jump out of my hey, I'll, you know, I'll walk out of my office and you know speak for a bit and then go back and I'm in a better mood. Sure. Your mood can greatly affect others, and it honestly, God, I, I feel like can attach to them too. Oh, so, it does, dude. Easy. It, absolutely. I, I, you know it does. I mean, we don't have to even really look into any, anything scientific for this. You just go out, go around somebody negative and see how you feel. You feel like crap. Yeah. You go around somebody good, you feel good. So, point being, if you didn't get some sleep, don't be that crabby asshole walking around ruining everybody's day because you didn't get sleep. Yeah. Just try to buckle up. Go weed eat your yard. Weed eat your yard. <laughs> go and, uh, you know, chop some wood. Turn into Paul Bunyan. Grow chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man. I don't know. Can you imagine just weed eating and your chest hair just... Blah, blah, blah. The first time listeners would be like, what the hell is going on? Like, how does this have to Weekly do anything espresso? with... Weekly How does this do anything with... How does this have to do anything with positivity? Why can't Austin speak? And he sounds like he's having a stroke. <laughs> like, I, there's a multitude of things. That you got this, this one guy talking about kicking bricks. Another dude I, speaking some other language. I don't even know what it is. Talking about weed eating his yard because he was mad. <laughs> I mean, you guys get the point, though. It's, it's all about such a badass move. I'm so pissed. I'm a weed eat my yard. And you know, it was. Hey, I ended up like weed eating my entire ditch, which was overgrown. It was like up to my chest. Yeah, I'm that guy that doesn't weed eat his ditch. Man, in Louisiana, this is me off topic, but we had like crawfish in our ditch. That was pretty sweet, dude. What? Yes. How? Like little crawfish mounds and stuff. It was sick, man. The other day, I couldn't think of the word for crawfish. My wife makes fun of me because I called it a river shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of the name for it. It's a mud bug, man. A mud bug. I've that's a good one too. I'm gonna use that. Yeah, because like like around here, like in Arkansas, it's more like a creek bug or something. I don't know what. I don't know. Dude, creek, little creek, the creek. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, look, we're just goofing off, having a good time on this, on this little podcast. But the point is, we're trying to give you some good positive vibes, even though we're tired as a mother freaker. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We're still having fun. You know. Um. Austin one day is going to be able to speak English. Yeah, I'm sorry, um, guys. I'm, I, you know what? It's just been, like I said, you know what? Last night was the 4th of July. Uh, again, you know what? We put this out on Friday, recording on Wednesday, just to put that out there again. Uh, and you know what? I didn't get too much sleep. So be it. Whatever happens. But you know what? I'm trying to come in today, stay happy, uh, you know, try to speak a different language. I'm <laughs> going to be a polyglot by the end of the day. You know what uh, I think a good, a good thing would be to finish this podcast? I think a high five, Nap. man. Okay. This yeah, high fives really, too. Well, let's do a high five right now. Come on. Coming in, coming in. That's, a, that's like All a right. screech from Say by the Bell move. That shows yep, so there were, uh, there were definitely three attempts there to that high five. <laughs> Two of them were missed, and then the last one finally hit. <laughs> that um, was not good. That's like a sleep. No, yep. No, so we're we were like, oh, it doesn't you know, play over in the physical aspects, <laughs> but whatever. My <laughs> movements are like really lagging behind yeah. right now. But, uh, but anyway, guys, again, you know what, just to recap, uh, don't let, you know, this lack of sleep, lack of energy, whatever, don't let it affect you and the people around you try to maintain the positive, uh, aura around you. Cause it, you know what, it does place itself on the other people, no matter how you look at it, whether it be family, coworkers, you name it. Uh, and again, make sure that you share, uh, the podcast, make sure that you review it as well. So, you know what, if you're on, uh, iTunes, whether you're on YouTube, whatever it is, you know what, make sure that you drop a review, thumbs up, like it, all that good stuff too. Um, But anyway, I think that pretty much covers it. And going to this weekend being happy, being positive.
What a bizarre podcast. Yep. Go eat your yard. <laughs> go go eat your yard. We'll, we'll talk to you. We'll talk later. <laughs>